Right. Now the last routine I go through is I go and take 50 frees. That's a lot of frees and probably too many for young kids in particular where your arms get tired and you start chucking. The moment you start chucking a shot, uh -uh, lose it, shoot closer, I'll go back to getting the right technique. You can probably notice on my three ball, which is probably the shot I shoot the most in the game nowadays, my follow through is always the same. I don't jump as much as I used to, but I always try and get that strength in my legs. Well, I go to five spots here. I go to the 45s first and I shoot 10. Usually I hit around that 6 or 7 out of 10 mark at each of the spots. Um, so both 45s, then to the corners and I finish up the top. The top is normally my money one where I shoot really well, so I do that up one last when I'm the most fatigued to make sure I concentrate um, on making sure I can make a big shot when it counts. Uh, myself, I shoot better off the dribble, so I go with specific effort when I practice and practice in my catch and shoot in the corners and the 45s. If there were other players that created and found me open, so I, you know, I'm an older dude, but I still need to practice my catch and shoot because my better rhythm comes when it's off the bounce. So if I shot all these off the bounce, I'd shoot a very, very high clip, um, but I'm still practicing to make sure I get better during my game that I know aren't that strong. So now, let's see how I go on the first spot. Let's try the other one. Seven, eight, a bad lesson. Pull your feet, I don't know what I'm saying right now, but this is the point of a workout. Work yourself out till you're knackered, so you feel a refresher the next time. Peace. All right, corner threes. Now, corner threes are really important because you need to be able to face the floor. If someone's created in the middle or uh, at the post, you'll be able to stretch there and catch these ones to make space for your teammates.
Alright, now we're going to go up top, which is usually my money spot. It's where I end up hitting a lot of threes, particularly off the dribble. And when it gets to late in games, we really need a bucket. It's normally, I've got the ball in my hands up top, make something happen. Sometimes it's a shot, sometimes it's a pass, but these are the shots you want to hit.